Anytime you feel like singing, Marge, I can let this drift away somewhere. Not tonight, Bobby. I don't think I could sing tonight. I'm sure you can. What's that? I haven't heard it before. One of mine? Like it? I like it. You can keep the people happy without me. I better tell Harry. He's following me. Oh, are you sure about that? Of course I'm sure. He's the man that just sat down at table number four. Fran, I'm scared. What'll I do? Don't do anything. I'll go tell Harry. What are you going to tell Harry? Well, I don't know. Maybe he can get a line on this guy. Maybe he knows him. And maybe he's nobody. He's somebody that I know. And he's following me. Marge, do you think this has anything to do with Joe? Of course it has something to do with Joe. Joe told me that I'd be killed the night that he... Don't leave me, Fran. Well, honey, I'll be right back. If he is following me, what'll I do? Well, the first thing to do is get a hold of yourself. I'll go tell Harry. Harry Wilson. I own this place. You mind if I sit? Sit? You're kind of new around here, aren't you, fella? I'm very new around here, Harry. It's the first time I've been to your place. Real nice. Thanks. Your piano player has a gentle touch. Music from the stars, Bobby Starr. Have you heard some of his records? Oh, he's kind of new at it. How about your girl singer? What about her? Well, uh, when's she going to sing? A little later, maybe. So you're a new around here, Mr. Uh... I'll have a cigarette, Harry. Huh? Uh -huh. You following her? Who? The singer. Marge Berry? Why don't you know her name? What else do you know about her? She was Joe Collins' girlfriend. Word to the wise. Take a powder. Now, how do you know I'm not tailing her for Joe? You know about that, too. Where is she? Very distant. That's where everything was good. Was? The whole idea of blues, isn't it? Hey, wait just a minute. This is the only room back here, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. Where's Miss Barry? Listen a minute. I don't know if you're tail enough for Joe Collins or not, but someone's liable to yell copper and have the police in. You stepped into a fast one, Buster. You stepped into a faster one, Harry. I am the police. Where'd Miss Barry go? Well, I don't know. Maybe she went home.
Go away. Go away, please. Open the door, Miss Barry. Who is it? What do you want? I'm a police officer. Police. How do I know that you're the police? You have a safety chain? Yes. Put on the safety chain and pull the door back. Please. I'm sorry if I frightened you. The police didn't quite believe your story when you told it to them. Uh, fact is, they still don't put much stock in it. But uh, nevertheless, I was assigned to keep an eye on you. And, uh, well, I guess I got too close. You don't think someone is trying to kill me? Why? Because it was my testimony on the stand that convicted Joe Collins. Collins is in the death house. He'll soon be dead. He can't reach you. Somebody else could. So they can follow in his footsteps? Not likely. You weren't there. If you'd seen his face, his eyes, you'd believe. I didn't want to go. But I had to see him that last time. I wish I hadn't. And no matter what had happened, I wouldn't have known about it. Terrible. He just stood on the other side of the bar, staring at me. He didn't say anything at first, and then he said, How does it feel, Marge? How does it feel, Marge? Watching a man run out of days. A man you put here. I didn't put him there. He did it himself. The alibi was all fixed. We were together that night. It was that simple. I tried to lie on the stand. My words got all twisted. You had to tell the truth. I didn't know he was a killer. When I go, you go. The same night. So start counting the days like I do. You'll be shadowed. And when my night comes, it'll be your night too. No one will believe you, not even the police. I got friends everywhere. You haven't got a chance. Not a chance. Just like me. You haven't got a chance. The same night he said, I didn't have a chance. Not a chance! A man in a death cell will say anything. It's his only way to strike back, to threaten you, to let you take it from there, so that every sound and shadow is a, is a murderer on the prowl. Who would kill you for Joe Collins? Think, uh, anyone you know? A stranger. It might be a stranger, somebody I don't know at all. What about Fran? She was Joe Collins' girl till you came along. No, you'd trust her, or Harry. Or a policeman. Or a man who says he's a policeman. I'm a policeman. I suppose you are. Joe had friends everywhere. Maybe somebody thinks I know too much. Do you know the real terror of this? what your fear can do to you. You'll retreat within your mind into mindlessness to escape. And once that happens, you may never be brought back. Maybe that's what Collins wanted, to keep you alive, always screaming on a note of fear. Maybe there is someone in those shadows, someone real. If there is, you can't fight him with panic. Answer. Hello? What? What he did? Yes, I will. Yes. Yes, I promise. Thank you. Bye. Joe got a reprieve, a stay of execution. He's not going to die tonight. I feel as though I'm the one that got the reprieve. 
Maybe I can think more clearly while I feel like this. I'm certain of it. I'm going away. For a few days alone, to rest. Where will you be going? You're my assignment, remember? I'd rather not say where I'm going. You won't follow me, will you? How can I protect you if I don't know where you are? You said I didn't need protection. Not quite. I didn't say that. I don't want you to follow me. All right. Well, I won't. You can't be going very far. Small suitcase. I don't want to be rude or ungrateful, but... Uh... If a detective hangs around, he's liable to ask questions, is that it? Questions like, uh, who was it that called? I'd rather not say. You're afraid she'll tell me where you're going? Perhaps. Well, at least I know it was a she. You can call up headquarters at any time. I don't think you'll be too far away. Maybe we can help. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Editions. Uh, both of them, please. Thank you, sir. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. Listen, you called her tonight. I did not. Don't lie to me. You called her and told her that Joe Collins had been granted a stay of execution. Well, he had. Collins died in a death chamber tonight. Well, where's Harry? He's in the back, maybe. Wait a minute. He, he was going over to Marge's. I don't know if he's left yet. You did call her, didn't you? Well? You suggested she go away. Where? Where? I have a little cottage out of ways, by the lake. I already told you to say that, too. Stay of execution, was it? Hey, friend. Just over to Marge's place, the door's wide open. What's the phone number at the cottage? There isn't any phone. What cottage? What are you talking about? My place out at the lake. You know where it is? Yeah, why? Come on.
just thought I'd like to hear a little music. I'm sorry, Marge. It makes me nervous while I'm driving. Since when? I don't blame you for being jumpy, Bobby. I probably made you nervous. A little. Do you think there's any chance of Joe's sentence being commuted to life imprisonment? Do you care? Of course I care. You love the guy. No, I never loved him. I feel sorry for him. He was nice to me. He was lonesome in a new city. I never knew him enough to love him. I never knew that... How did you think he made all that splash, that color? For a while, he, he was like a guy who owned the world. How did you think he kept up the payments? I never thought. If I thought, I wouldn't be here, running away, frightened, scared that someone was going to step out of the night and kill me. I made a mistake, a great big mistake, and I might never get over it. figure a tie-up between Collins and Bobby Starr. I thought they hardly knew each other. What kind of a tie-up? A deadly one for Marge Berry. At left fork. Hey, you know, Marge, maybe we ought to drive on a ways. We'd be more comfortable someplace else. There's no phone here and all. It's all right, Bobby. I'm just too tired to care. Uh, this will do for now. Oh, I'll drop in for a minute. All right. I'll get you back. Go ahead on in. All right, Bobby. feel the same things Joe must have felt just before he died. You can listen to the same music that I wrote for him in your own death house. No escape, Marge. Just like Joe. You, Bobby. You're gonna kill me? I'm gonna kill you, Marge. After a while, I'm gonna kill you for Joe. Just like he said, you're gonna die tonight to the same music. Bobby, why? If you try to run for it, I'll kill you sooner. You're doing this for Joe? He, he was everything. He had it all. The big wheel. The money man. He had more women than he could handle. Till you came along. Why are you doing this? Who are you? Me? Just the guy who plays a piano in the smoke, trying to drown out the gin talk. But Joe, ever since we were kids... Kids? You knew him? When Mom died, he was only 14. Even then, he was a big shot. He knew all the angles. Your brother. He was your brother. Yeah, but nobody knew we were brothers. That's the way he wanted it. I yeah, had to be legit. Legit... Legit nothing. So I wrote songs for him. I made him presents of songs. I didn't have anything else. Wait a minute, 
was Bobby Free. Joe didn't even have this kind of a run for it. He couldn't fight at all. I wish the whole world was dying for Joe. No, you don't. You said it yourself. Joe had everything and you had nothing. Meaning what? Legit and nothing. Weren't those the words you used? Well, what are you getting at? You've been a fool, Bobby. Joe had it all. Money, women, and cars. You were just the kid brother that no one cared about because he wanted it that way. I know what you're talking about. So you hated him for it. Oh. Yes, you hated him because he didn't even know that you were alive. You're crazy. He was my brother. He didn't even know you were alive. He let you play piano in that honky-tonk bar. Shut up. You don't know anything about it. Think, Bobby. Why should you do his dirty work? He never did anything for you. He did. He did, I tell you. What did he ever do for you? You really hated him. Why should you kill for him? No, no. It's true, Bobby. Bobby, think. Uh, you know it's true. I don't want to hear anymore. Oh. I don't want to hear anymore. Please. No. Bobby, please. No. 